Hey dudes, today I want to show you how to enable or disable automation on a plugin in Pro Tools. So let's jump into it and make today a quick video. Okay, so let's add an EQ37 band EQ to our audio one track here. And maybe you're putting this into touch automation and you're hitting play and you're trying to like, you know, automate something funky. And then you go back and you hit play again and you go, wait, it didn't record any of my automation. Nothing is working. What's going on? And then you try it again. Okay. So at this moment, all you got to do is stop and go up to this auto feature here. And right below it, it says plugin automation enable. So click that button that looks like two squares and then your plugin automation window will pop up like this. So it's as simple as highlighting one or as many, or sometimes I hit command A to do all, and you just highlight all of the different parameters of the plugins that you want to enable by hitting add. And now all of the parameters of this plugin are automatable. So you could like have just some, or of course you could have none. So basically you just consider the left stack as removed or off, which means it is disabled or the right stack or column over here after you hit add as enabled. And now in this state that it's in right now, the plugin is ready to be automated. You'll also notice that the color of the lights change on the plugin, which is great. So that can also be an indicator if you are trying to do some automation and it's not working, that probably your automation is disabled. Okay, so we'll try it again. And you see over on the right side where the touch is turning right, that is also another sign that lets you know you are good to go. It is recording your automation. If I hit play again, it does my funky little low filter shelf bouncing up and down like that. All right, so that's it. If you are trying to record automation and it's not remembering anything, it's probably because you just need to go to that window and add the automation and make the plugin automatable. That's it. So this will work in preview mode or in touch mode or any other automation mode that you're in. If it's not working, this would be the first place that I would check to correct it. So hopefully that's an easy fix and it will avoid some headaches in your future projects. And until next time, later dudes.